G'day there guys, welcome back to my shed, I'm BC. Sorry about Mr Fan, but I'm giving a noise cancelling software package, a bit of a try out part of my new mobile microphone. So hope the sound comes out a little bit better. It's been hard for me to tune it as both the camcorder and the remote mic have to be turned right down. Haven't seen that before, but yeah, hoping it comes good. What I'm doing here is after the crash I had last week I'm trying to check the alignment of the lathe and uh, the spindle see if anything's broken the chuck's always been a bit iffy it's nearly as old as me it's been well and truly used uh, I've got the test bar that I ground on the cylindrical grinder and that's part of the reason for grinding it uh, I'm holding it in the drive section at the moment still getting some reasonable results but if I put it up between centers I know it's good within half a hundredth of a millimeter so I should get some reasonable results there. I'll bring the camcorder in a little bit closer. I'll set the dial indicator up so that you can see it. And it's a one hundredth of a millimetre in sensitivity. So it should give some reasonable results. And I found a few strange things. This is a um, two clamp tail stop. First time I've used one. And when you use the side lever, it only clamps on the front. And there's a... Uh, bolt head at the back that you tighten up the rear clamp with and believe it or not it takes out 200 of a millimeter and brings it back to almost zero so there's something to keep in your head i've been making a few pins for the riding car just simple plane turning jobs and they're just not coming out as good as i would like they'll do for a model train there's oh i think about three one hundredth taper or whatever but i'd like to be able to turn a little bit better than that and I think that the live centre might be moving a bit. Maybe there's wear in the quill bush in the tail stock. And this is the sort of thing I'm going to try and find out today if I can. Uh, all you experienced guys, please throw your two bobs worth in. You know, I haven't lined up many lays in my time. I, I did fall on my feet with that grinder. <laughs> Surprised how good it is after 60 years in the saddle. Okay, I'll bring you in. I've now got it set up so that it's only projecting out of the chuck and I can tell that the chuck's got a fair bit of error in there because I can get it to run within a hundredth or so there turn of the quarter turn and it goes out quite away and it's not really consistent but I will put a band around it and uh, internal grind those jaws as soon as I do get a chance so zoom you in bring you back soon Okay, this is set up now with the light, uh, light centre disengaged. I'm just running it backwards and forwards on the rack. So far, that's about half a hundredth. And we're coming up now to the unworn section of the bed. And that's about back to where we started. So I can't believe it, honestly. That's a really good run. You can feel the uh, whole carriage get a little bit stiffer as we get up towards that end. Now, I hope you can see that dial gauge. I've just engaged the live centre. And we've had about three one hundredths taper. Now, the interesting part is it displays the work sideways, but then it stays parallel for the first four or five inches. Which is not really what I expected. Okay, wind it out again. You can see it lose a couple of hundredths. And that's about two thou further down on what it was. And I've got about two and a half thou non-parallel. There. That shows a whole lot's about five or six thou uh, out of round here. It's quite substantial. And that's about three thou out of parallel. So it's giving quite a 
through a horse, almost an elliptical turning path there. But I'll turn the camera off, mount the uh, test piece up between centres and see what we get with the big centre in the belly of the chuck, or belly of the shark rather. Okay, back in again guys. Now, with the lower centre engaged, better engage it again. It pulled the needle down scale um, about five hundredths of a millimetre and we'll wind it along. And over about six inches we've got another three one hundredths. So now with the lower centre engaged it's three one hundredths of a mill out. Now I'll disengage the live centre. And rotate it a little bit. That's about six hundredths. So I've got a bit of an alignment problem. Tighten up the number two clamp. Yeah, I've got the same about three thou. Well, knowing what there is makes it a little bit easier to deal with. But uh, where's my alignment? I'm hoping it's in the tailstock. Okay, I'll do a bit of fiddling and then bring you back. Okay, I've cranked it across. It's not perfect, but it's an amp side better than it was. And uh, without going to a dead center in here and clinically cleaning everything, I think it's about as good as I'm going to get. Longitudinally, over 150 millimeters. It's only moving about a hundredth of a millimetre, if that. And I think that'll satisfy me. Now also, radial run out of about three, three and a half hundredths. As I said, they could be crap on the, the centres. It's about the same both ends. I've got radial run out of about three one hundredths and about one in one hundredth out of parallel over the end. And without a major rebuild of this old girl, I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, I, I've got to clean it down yet. I want to clean the chuck up and the lathe itself is still a pig, but at least I know the crash hasn't really impaired it. I'll give it a good clean up. If I can find some material, I'll do a test bar and we see what it's like then. Well guys, that's going to pull this bit of an episode up. I've got some work I have to get done, but i um, very surprised. I didn't think that it would come in that close, and I'm glad I'm doing it with a known um, true test bar, and that's one reason why I bought the cynical grinder. I've got a fair bit of tooling to make for tool and cutter grinders, and it's no good trying to make that if you can't make it right. And a two tenths of a thou here and a tenth of a thou on the arbor, no, that's just not good enough. But it seems to me that the only thing I've got left to do is grind the jaws on this thing. It'll come good. But also, I've got the spray on the yuck out of the scroll and see if not, some of us not being induced there. Okay, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode.